We are here with uh, PC maker Lenovo, the world's number one on the back of their earnings report card. You already ran us through the numbers. Uh, the company says they are in a transformation from a hardware and device company to solutions and service. Joining me now is the CFO, Wang Waiming, in a first on CNBC interview uh, to run through the report card. Waiming, it's really good to see you. Thank you. Now, the PC industry saw a sharp slowdown post-pandemic, coupled with an economic slowdown, and we're also dealing with inflation. Revenues from America were down 9 percent, mm -hmm. China almost 20 percent. Mm -hmm. Are we at a turning point now? Well, I think, first of all, you have to look at Lenovo. It's not a pure PC company. Uh, over the, the years, we actually reorganized ourselves, and PC today account for about maybe 60 percent of our revenue. We actually have the entire portfolio, including the devices, the infrastructure, as well as services, that actually capture all the opportunities. I think clearly PC, uh, I think we are number one in the world, with the PC market dropping like 20%. Uh, I think we, our revenue on a full year basis, in fact, didn't actually drop that much because the other two business groups are actually driving significant growth, in particular the infrastructure, uh, as well as the margin also been mitigated or compensated by our significant growth in our services business. Geopolitics impacting Chinese companies like yours. We saw China announce a ban on Micron chips. Now, as their customer, how are you going to be filling this gap? We'll be using South Korean companies like SK Hynix and Samsung. Mm -hmm. If not, who? Right. Well, I think the components issue, we are still finding more information about how we are going to deal with it. Uh, as a global company doing business in different parts of the world, I think we just need to find a solution to address the problem. Now, I will actually say that in PC, being number one in the world, I think in the past we actually hit with all sort of supply shortage issue. I think we believe that our diversified supply chain will be able to address, I think, the customer's requirement so that everybody will, will comply with the necessary rules and regulations of the country's concern. Frank, come on in here. All right. Thank you very much, Emily. Hello. Great to meet you. I'm Frank Holland over at CNBC US. Thanks for joining us right now. So you mentioned uh, supply and also sourcing components just a second ago. I want to ask you about U.S. chip tensions with China. How does that impact your business and particularly your ability to get the chips you need? Well, so far, we actually been complying with all the rules and regulations. Uh, I think there is no I think material impact to our business. Uh, uh, as I said, I think we've been actually, uh, I think, following all the rules and regulations in respective countries. Uh, and again, I think for us, in terms of running a global business, I think that is always the challenges uh, that we need to deal with. I think if you really look at the Lenovo profile, in fact, China account for about 25, 30 percent. I think the other region, Asia Pacific, EMEA, America, I think. Apart from the decline in the market, for example, like PC, which I think if you read IDC number dropping about 20 percent, all our other businesses in different, of, of, in different parts of the world continue to grow. So at the moment, uh, I think we are just dealing with the challenges uh, because of the uh, geopolitical issues. All right, you mentioned IDC. According to IDC, you have about 22 percent of the global market, so you are the leader right now. However, in these IDC reports, we continue to see big year-over-year -year declines. Your forecast, however, is for an increase in the second half of the year. Where are you seeing that's giving mm. you this kind of mm. confidence? Because in 2020 and 2021, a lot of people bought PCs. Right. Those PCs are still relatively new. Right. I think the level of confidence is obviously based on uh, our, I think, based on data. I think you obviously look at, I think, the IDC forecast, which primarily measure shipments. Uh, but at the same time, we also have data, I think, measuring activation of the machine, meaning someone actually, because when a machine shipped to a distributor, it sits in the distributor. Now, the real demand is actually the end customer buying that PC and then activate. We actually see the activation rates. I think the decline is not as significant as the shipment, I think partly because that there are a lot more shipment, I think, during the last one or two years because of COVID-19, because of component shortage, and therefore the channel been actually having more, I think, stocking the, the products, I think, ready for shipment. Now, the underlying activation demand, uh, I think, based on our own data, uh, which is actually even higher than the pre-COVID level, I think that's the reason uh, for us to uh, have the confidence that over the next one, well, in fact, over the last, I would say, few quarters, we actually see channel inventory, 
I think, coming down, uh, really digesting the excess uh, shipment that was shipped uh, during the COVID or in the beginning of the COVID period. So we believe that the activation rate gives us a more realistic estimate of the likely demand. Now, the key, of, the key that, that also help us to have the confidence, I think, is the acceleration of the digitalization. I think you, you heard a lot about AT, uh, chat GPT. All this actually required devices. I think if you were, I think with the conference just now, I think our colleagues, Luca, actually explained, I think the AI does not necessarily just have, just give significant demand in the infrastructure, because you actually need a device to use the leverage the AI, and therefore, we also see that this is also positive news, I think, on the devices. Wai Ming, non-PC is becoming a larger part of your revenue, almost 40 percent now. Do you expect it to overtake your PC business eventually? Uh, I, will actually, I don't want to make that prediction, but I actually see that both businesses or both all the three business groups will continue to grow. Now, at the moment, uh, we are number one in PC. I mean, clearly, when the market actually uh, return back to more normal, uh, I think we will definitely be growing. But at the same time, we actually have higher growth. Now, as to whether the infrastructure as well as the services, I think eventually, I think we will have a three major business group driving the revenue, rather than just like what we had in the past, PC, just driving, using, having PC as our primary driver. We will, over time, we'll have three business groups driving profitability.